Holographic Glasses for Virtual Reality Today's commercial VR displays are bulky, and it is due to the magnifier design of the optics, where a lens enlarges the image of a small micro display. The micro display must be positioned near the focal distance of a magnifying lens, making today's VR displays bulky and uncomfortable. The thickness of magnifier based VR displays can be reduced by folding its optical path using pancake lenses. Recent papers showed sunglasses like form factor VR displays based on pancake lenses. However, it still requires gap between the optical components, and more importantly, the pancake lenses can support only 2D images. In this paper, we propose holographic glasses, a holographic near eye display system that offers 2D and 3D image presentation to each eye with a device thickness of just a few millimeters. Holographic glasses are composed of the following core components. A virtual mode holographic display, a geometric phase lens, and a pupil replicating waveguide. In most cases, the phase-only SLM creates a hologram in front of the device. However, the phase-only SLM can also create a hologram behind the SLM. With this, all the optics stay closer and the system size can be minimized. Second, we further reduce the system form factor by using a pupil replicating waveguide instead of the beam splitter. A coherent light source is coupled into the waveguide and provides the coherent illumination for the SLM. We use the commercially available waveguide designed for the incoherent light source, which results in uneven illumination in some wavelengths. However, this can be minimized with a different grading design. Third, we replace the eyepiece with a geometric face lens. GP lens is very lightweight, but it works as a positive lens only for a certain input beam polarization. Since most SLMs also operate with linearly polarized input light, we mount a coral wave plate between the SLM and the GP lens. By combining these components, we introduce holographic glasses. The display characteristics of holographic glasses are largely determined by the SLM and the eyepiece. Field of view gets larger when the SLM size gets bigger, and the eye box gets larger when the SLM pixel pitch gets smaller. Holographic glasses also have two distinct features which are not observed in conventional VR displays. The first one is high diffraction orders. The periodic structure of SLM pixels creates repeated high diffraction orders and they are converged along the pupil plane because of the eyepiece. If the interval of high diffraction orders is smaller than the pupil diameter, then we have to consider high diffraction orders during the phase calculation process with HOGD algorithm. The pupil masking term MP extends the HOGD algorithm to an algorithm we call pupil HOGD. It enables phase patterns to be optimized while accounting for pupil filtering. The simulated results show that pupil HOGD produces the best image quality at all pupil sizes compared to the double phase amplitude coding, stochastic gradient descent, and conventional HOGD algorithm. The second feature is dynamic eye box. Since the waveguide is designed to reproduce a light field with a range of instant light angles, the direction of the entire SLM illumination can be controlled by the input beam direction. With an additional gaze tracker, the system could follow the gaze and move around the viewpoint by simply changing the direction of the input beam. We implemented benchtop and wearable prototypes. The only difference between the benchtop prototype and the wearable prototypes is the use of a waveguide. This is the capture to the result from the benchtop prototype. The close-up photo shows the HOGD algorithm presented better image quality and higher contrast as expected. Here's another example. The red arrows show the artifacts because of the stray light from the SLM due to the GP lens loss. This is the captured multiplane 3D results with the benchtop prototype. The results show correct in-focus images in the different planes, which can induce the user's accommodation reflex. The results from the wearable prototype showed worse image quality and contrast. It is mainly because of the mismatch between the waveguide and the implemented coherent light source, which could be improved with a different grading design. Conclusion In this paper, we showed a 2.5 mm thick 3D holographic near eye display in a lightweight glasses form factor.